Let's connect the TP-Link RE605X via smartphone. Before you start, make sure that your rotor is working properly and the extender is plugged in close to the rotor and the power LED indicator is turned on so it's blue. Uh, then go to the App Store or Play Store and install the TP-Link Tether application. Once installed, open the application, allow to send notifications, agree to the terms and conditions, it's obligatory. Uh, on this screen, you, you need to log in or if you don't have a TP-Link ID, you have to create it. It's no harder than signing up for uh, Facebook or Amazon, so let me skip this step because I already have the account. I'm just logging in. Turn on fingerprint login later, maybe later, maybe never. Uh, Two-step verification, maybe la later as well. Uh, that's it. Now I am on the home screen of the application. The home screen is named My Devices. If in some reason you are on some other screen, tap on the burger menu and go to My Devices. Uh, so now I see my Archer C7. This is my main router and this is because I am connected to the router, but I need to be connected to the extender itself. So let's go to the Wi-Fi settings. And here I need to find a TP-Link extender network or wait until it appears. So TP-Link extender, connecting, connected. Let's go back to the application. Here it is, RE605X. In some reason, if you don't see your extender here, tap on the plus button. Here, tap on add a range extender. Uh, then confirm that the LED is solid on. So tap on this button. Grant location permission to the application while using it. And tap on next. And wait for the search to be finished. Uh, now you have to set device password. Uh, this is the password to manage the settings of your extender, not Wi-Fi password so far. So let's make a simple password. Write it down somewhere. Do not forget because if you will forget your password, you will need to restart uh, to re reset the device. And you will lose all connections, all settings and so on. So it's better to keep the password in the safe place. Uh, now let's select the network we wish to extend. My main network's name is my Wi-Fi. So first we need to select 2.4 gigahertz band. This is my current Wi-Fi password. Of course, you have to enter yours. Tap on next, select five gigahertz band. Once again, enter your current Wi-Fi password. Tap on next once again, check if everything is correct and tap on next. Uh, on this step, you can rename uh, your extender. For example, if you wish to tell apart different extenders for different rooms, you can rename them uh, bedroom, living room, kitchen, and so on. But let me stick with the defaults so far. Now just wait for settings to be applied. If everything was successful, you want to see this. You want to see the confirm location screen and four LED uh, lights glowing a solid blue uh, on your extender. By the way, if you have the single band rotor, you will see only three in a row because your rotor uh, doesn't have 5G band. Uh, so let's tap on next. Now you can relocate the extender, so place it somewhere mm, between your main rotor and Wi-Fi dead zone in your house, but keep in mind that it, the extender should be in the rotor's range and Wi-Fi signal uh, can help you with this Wi-Fi signal indicator. If it's blue, uh, the signal is strong enough, but if the Wi-Fi signal is red, you need to uh, relocate the extender closer to the main rotor. Uh, now you can connect to your 
uh, new Wi-Fi, copy password. Now let's go to Wi-Fi settings. Here is our 2.4 gigahertz network. Let's wait for five gigahertz as well. If you don't see it here for a long time, for more than a minute, try to restart the Wi-Fi. Toggle it off and toggle on back again. Still nothing. Let's scroll down. Yeah, sometimes you need just wait a little longer than expected. But let's connect. So far connected without password, but in future, if you need password, the password is the same as for your main router until you change it. Uh, okay, it's connected. Now let's go back to the application. No internet. This is not true. Let's fix it just by tapping here. Now everything is working well. Uh, so this is an application where you can manage different settings. For example, you can go to this extended network menu and change the extender's name and uh, set the separate password for your extender. Also, you can go to the more tab and change the operation mode to an access point. Access point means you can uh, connect your extender using the Ethernet cable directly to your router or uh, free LAN socket in your wall uh, if you have the free one and have uh, the better connection speed. Uh, also, if your router supports one mesh or easy mesh technology, you can connect the extender to one mesh. It means that all your uh, devices across your home will connect at the internet at the fastest possible speed without passwords, without network names, you will have just seamless uh, unified network through your home. And that's great. Now you're all set. Hope this was helpful. Subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and thanks for watching. Bye guys.